hate the most? Yeah, open. Yeah. So I want to hear your thoughts about GRT. Last year I took testosterone. I mean, 300 milligrams a week, just like a TRT. But he's bigger than me, so he's going to take it more. I know, like, I know people go to the gym that are on thousands of milligrams, and they look like shit. Well, I remember the competition you had in Legend Bodybuilder Kim Jong Ho, and back then that competition was really huge because he made a comeback more than ten years, yeah. and also you made a comeback eight yeah. years off, and also Kim and you have a have, a, have a almost same height, yeah, right? yeah. six foot, yeah, six foot, yeah. So <laughs> how was it facing off against him? It was probably like the hardest show I got ready for, only due to the fact that I hadn't competed for eight years. I was a top IFBB guy, now I'm going NABA. It's like, if I don't do any good, I'm going to look stupid. Or even, it's like anything with the internet. I said, even if I looked my best and I got second, people would be like, oh, you suck, you're washed up. It's like, so, I was happy to win it, so yeah. So Kim Jun Ho, yeah, he's uh, one of the legend bodybuilders. Also, there's a uh, many Korean bodybuilders and athletes that he stands out with the international stage. Mm -hmm. Do you know anyone like the international stage who purely the most? What's his name? Is it Lee something? He's got Lee. He's a child. Yeah, open. Yeah. Yeah. He looks good. Really, like I said, he's got beautiful shape. He's got nice muscles. Just needs to get that dry conditioning out. And I think if he does that, he could do really well. So that's the thing that people sometimes think, like to compete in America, I've got to be big, I've got to be big. When I won the San Francisco, people go, Lee, what did you weigh? I said, what, do you, what does it look like? They're like, oh, you look like a 235. I weighed 199 pounds, but yet on stage you look bigger. So if that guy Lee comes in, if he just focuses on the conditioning, when he gets on stage under the lights, he's going to look bigger. That's where guys need to focus a little bit more on conditioning and stop worrying about feeling out, getting bigger. Because we work out together, and I'm really surprised that you're still jacked. So I want to hear your thoughts on your like medical like your opinion. I'm the bottom of the league and the stuff. Some people get into the sport for the money or just to be noticed. I just love training. My grandfather trained, my mother trained, my mother and I won the couples together. I'm a good first lover and son in the world. We eat together. You know, I think if you love it and you do, it's like breathing. It's like I get up in the morning, I do cardio, then go to the gym. It just makes your day start off good and feel good. Last year I took testosterone. I mean, 300 milligrams a week. Just like a TRT level. Just to feel good. So, so many people who retire are making up the use of TRT. And also, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of using yeah. TRT because I have a, naturally have a low. really low testosterone. 잠깐 중간 광고 있겠습니다. 헬창 TV와 함께하는 갈리꼬 이벤트. 세계 10대 건강 식품 흑마늘 마카 홍삼에 들어간 최고의 스태미너 건강식 갈리꼬 흑마늘즙. 걸어서 세계 속으로 기력과 활력의 원천입니다. 링크 들어가시면 입문자용 한 달치 33,000원, 상급자용 한 달치 59,000원으로 인터넷 최저가로 구매 가능하시오니 저렴하게 프리미엄 갈리꼬 흑마늘즙 구매하시기 바랍니다. 이 링크는 오직 해창 TV에서만 받아볼 수 있는 링크입니다. So I want to hear your thoughts about TRT. I can't speak for me. Too many guys go, they need some guys TRT 600. You don't need that. You want to take like I said, anywhere from, I mean, two to three hundred is enough. And I'm going to go and I do big cycles and I hold them, stop doing the big cycle, do a small one, and then make the same things. You're taking up this large amount, all you're doing is wasting money. The guy you buy it off is getting richer, but it's just because their mindset is more is better. If one were good, two's going to be twice as good, three is like, it doesn't work that way, you're just wasting it. Your body's going to be used so much like you take vitamins, take too many vitamins, and piece them out. Your body can only absorb so much, so yeah, like these young people start their first cycle on, say, a thousand or but then the next cycle, 15, the next cycle, 2,000, they keep going up. That's just stupid, you don't need that. So I helped the guy who was trying to win the world. So I gave him the diet, gave him the training. I gave him, he goes, what about drugs? I said, look, I don't know about it. So I can show you what I did. So I sent it to him. He writes back to you, with me. I said, why? He goes, that's not enough. I said, trust me. So he took it, 
he went and won the world. He said it was the best he ever looked and the best he ever felt. So, very yeah, small amounts, but you know, kids now go on the internet and uh, three fancy milligrams. <laughs> it's like people believe all this bullshit. That's what I hate because they've always been truthful. Yeah. If I took 10,000, I'd say, hey, I take 10,000. But I don't. You know, when I used to take the test, I wouldn't go any higher than 400. Mm -hmm. They go, oh, bullshit. Well, he's bigger than me, so he's going to take it more. That's right. It doesn't work that way, so. I just try and tell people, just do a small amount, do it safe. You know, even a small amount might not be safe, but to me, 200 is probably safer than 2,000. So you just got to use your brain when it comes to stuff like that. When I did the cycle, I, I took probably three the most. I know guys take six different drugs. Six different And they're like, oh, I, I feel it. I'm like, how do you know which one's working? That's why if I ever did a cycle when I started, I'll just do Decker by itself. I know how it affected me. You just only take six different drugs at once. You know, I feel great. The test is working, the mass drugs working. I'm like, how do you know? Maybe only three of those six are working. You don't know because you just got them all shut in there. You don't know what it is. So you just got to be like I said, you just got to be smart. I know people get carried away and they read all stuff online that pros do this, pros do that. I find guys who don't compete in amateurs take way more than the pros. All that was massive. He only took a small amount because he's such a big freak. Like Paul lived with me for eight months, so I saw what he took. And when I tell people, like, oh, you're lying, I said, I'm not lying. I said, why do you think you're going to take a large amount? Because you read them online? If you talk to most pros, they all take a small amount because they've got the genetics, they've got the training, everything else. So I know, like, so I know people go to the gym that are on thousands of milligrams and they look like shit. So, to me, it's like it's the training, the eating, the rest. The drugs are the last thing. They're like that last five percent, but sadly now people put the drugs first. It's like you don't need to do that. It's crazy to do that. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom. Oh, thank and you. It was a great interview, actually. This interview will be like fascinating Korean fans. Wait till I get the career for a big seminar, <laughs> and you can ask me questions live. Okay, I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah. He's gonna make it happen. If he doesn't make it happen, don't follow his channel. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Can you share your like the last word for Korean fans? Your like your wisdom also? I don't really have wisdom. All I have in life is just try to be happy and enjoy what you do. And like I said, too, because the world now is so fast paced with phones, so that's why I don't have a phone in the gym. I control my phone. I don't, don't let it control me, but. I've had friends that have died and passed on family members and if you've got good friends and family members you should send them a message every day, just say hi, tell them you care, stuff like that, that only takes a second to do it. So like I said, because once they're gone, they're gone, you can't get it back. So yeah, I always just think like, we should be more in touch with people around us who care about us rather than waste time on people that don't. So wisdom for people. Thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you.